You coming? Gotta come get you. I always turn on the light for him as well because I don't know what time I'll be coming back. If it gets dark out, you got some light for you, okay? Your bed and food and water's right over there. You got your little window so you can look out. How you feeling? How you feeling? You wanna come with me, huh? Well, you can't this time, Gizmo, okay? Because you're not allowed inside this shop. It's a special shop. But I'm forgetting one thing. Let me go get that. I got my Santa Claus hat. Now I'm ready to go. Gizmo, don't do that to me. Don't be sad. I'll see you later, okay? I'll see you later. I love you. Gizmo, don't be mad at me. I'll see you later, okay? I love you. When I say I'll be back, he knows that I'm returning in a bit. When I say I see you later, he knows I'm gone the whole day. That's the term I use when I go to work. And today is just for me, so he's not liking it. He ain't feeling it. He's pissed off. He's upset. He doesn't understand why I have to go without him. Gizmo, I love you. See you later, okay? You be a good boy, okay? I love you, baby. I'll see you later. That hurts me. It does, it hurts me. <laughs> I don't like leaving him. Even though I know he's okay, it still, it bothers me. I'm gonna go have Christmas in the summer. So y'all might think, what, what's so special about a Christmas shop? It is open every day of the year. Every day, rain or shine. Trust me, I was thinking the same thing you were. Like what? I ain't going to no Christmas shop, but everybody here kept telling me, you need to go, you need to go. I'm telling you. Sure enough, when I went to Frankenmuth, we passed it. It is huge, huge. I'm like, oh yes, I'm definitely going in there. But I forgot to mention to y'all, I like to support small businesses. And there's a small business out here um, that sells apparel. And I ordered a few items. I had to stop by at the shop to pick them up. Hey, how you doing? Is it okay if I, do I need my mask or no do mask. I not? Okay, cool. I just want, came to pick up some apparel. Hi, I spoke to Alyssa. Oh, you're the... Yes, that's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I kept rescheduling. I just had a lot of things going on. I really like this one, but you guys don't have my size. <laughs> Extra small in men's. So I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm tiny. I know, I know, I know. Dog lover. Yes, that's awesome. Are those your pets or like just use like that breed? Uh, no, they're um, and they're all passed away, and I, I haven't, haven't got another one yet because the last two hit me really hard. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. But no, that's um. It. Can I can I show this? Is that okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like stories. Yeah, this is uh, Bear. Right there's his name, and then um, that's oh, Mac. Wow. And. Or is Nikita's name? Oh. Right? oh, right there, Nikita. Oh, you got them done here at this tattoo shop? Yep, sure did. I'm gonna have to get mine done here. I have um, a Shih Tzu, oh, and yeah. he is my best friend. So check this out. Give me a second, cause it's hot out. I just came back, and I received my goodies. The business I'm speaking of is called Ink Therapy. They have a lot of good stuff. Packaging is everything. I love the art on this. It looks like they took the time to really get it right. So what's in the bag, right? Their tags alone in these shirts is perfect. See that there? 
and in the back I will read to you ink therapy clothing is made for those who understand that getting tattoos are a very good form of therapy yes it is addicting tattoos are addicting but it's a good addiction it really does help you therapeutically. This is why I'm tatted the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Got this here. Tattooed people look better naked. <laughs> and it's true. I ain't done. Mm -mm. I ain't done. I got me a cap that says ink therapy. Ooh, child. And I got me a white tank. Look at that design. You know what? I'm gonna send them a picture for their fan page. All right, y'all. Let me put this motherfucker on. Yes, perfect. On to the photo shoot. <laughs> If you are interested in supporting this business and the vision behind it, I have the link to their website in the description. And get y'all a little something. I know I'm gonna be the only one with a Santa's hat. I don't care. Maybe the employees might have one. I don't know. I might get stopped and ask questions about where they can find something. It's okay, I'll be an employee for the day. I wanna feel like it's Christmas. Let me be. You think Santa has to wear a mask at the North Pole? He's a big boy though. I bet you it's hard for him to breathe. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the name of this place is called Bronner's. That ain't love, I don't know what is. That price though, I don't know about that price. Okay, she don't need no man. She don't need no woman. They have religious themes, they have jolly themed, they even have Halloween themed, y'all. Look at that. Got Mickey Mouse themed. <laughs> oh my god, yo. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna have to buy one of these because I know for sure I won't be home for Christmas and I'll just have a room to rent, so I'm probably gonna get me a small little Christmas tree. an issue with here is the pricing it's so fucking expensive i'd rather just order stuff online on amazon or something for the low low but if you just want to come and just watch and see what they have going on as a tourist this is one of the spots that you should hit i found me something for my mama and my daddy i hope they like it downtown frankenmuth is on and popping i know it is guys when i went there there's bars outside you can walk around drinking there's restaurants there's gift shops I already went, but I might go again. I don't know. Just give me a second. I do miss my dog. Hi! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day, my baby boy? Yes, you did. I know, I know. But you missed me, huh? Oh, you just miss going outside. That's what that is. Oh, you do miss me, my baby. Oh, thank you. You can give me kisses. Me. Go ahead. Go pee. You can go pee. <laughs> my baby.
Good boy. You're my dog, you know that? I love you, my baby. I love you so much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right, let's put this trash can away. <laughs> he knows we ain't going nowhere, so he's like, fuck it, I'll pee at that tree again. Come on, baby, I gotta go get that recycling bin. You coming? <laughs> oh, third time at the tree. Good boy, that's my dog. <laughs> Good baby. What was it? What was it? You better tell him. You better tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Tell him they don't belong here. Tell that rabbit. Tell that cat. Tell that hedgehog. <coughs> Tell that groundhog. <coughs> you better let them know whose hood this is. We're from Michigan now. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Alright? You let them know. Let them motherfuckers know. <coughs> That's what I'm talking about. We're soft as fuck. We're harmless. <laughs> We're harmless. I knocked out last night and I completely forgot to close off the video. It's the next morning. My hair look crazy. That being said, I had a great time here in Michigan. But I need y'all to watch this now. In the next vlog, I will be revealing the city I was staying in in Michigan. I have not told you for safety reasons because I am a solo traveler, so I got to be careful. But in my next vlog, I will tell you where I've been staying. And I will be revealing the next state that I'm heading to. But I need you to comment below and tell me where in Michigan do you think I was. Take a guess. All right, guys. Thank you for staying tuned. I will see you in the next vlog. Peace.